Hey everyone, my name is Samuel Colby. I am the inventor of the uh, core pump machine that you see right here. Um, so it's kind of what uh, what sparked my interest in doing a research study on this amazing machine is um, if you want to know kind of the future of the human race, if you want to know our future that affects us um, directly, um, follow the path of the billionaire. Um, as everyone knows, billionaires get um, privileged to be in a lot of closed door meetings, discussing theories, um, people seeking um, their investment for prototypes and, and all that stuff. And uh, it seems, um, seems pretty currently that, uh, you know, in the past, Elon Musk and uh, Richard Branson were pretty much the, um, the main billionaires that were trying to pursue spaceflight, commercial spaceflight. Um, and it seems like there's a lot more billionaires and even a hundred millionaires that are really getting aggressive, jumping on this, um, this task, trying to figure out a way to, um, to be in space in a, um, on a spaceship. Um, so anyway, so my theory is this, um, I know someone personally that, um, is com he got commissioned, um, quite a, quite a lot of money uh, in the billions to build a, um, high powered telescope. So I'm thinking we found a new earth somewhere in our galaxy. We found new earth. Uh, we've located it, we've probably tracked it, probably have done experiments trying to see what sort of um, air it had and, you know, the elements and resources there. And now we're building a bigger telescope now so that we can probably look at the surface of this planet. Um, having said that, it's probably 5, 10, 15, 20 years from here um, on a spaceship. So, you know, the question is, is what keeps someone alive in space? Um, and immediately cardiopulmonary function is the most key uh, ingredients for maintaining life in space, in microgravity space. Um, so how do you keep someone alive? How do you keep someone um, fit for long term space flight, um, deep space flight? Um, and, and that is to exercise the body on a cardiovascular and pulmonary level. So what's very interesting is, is the study that I want to do with, uh, with my machine is to show everyone, and we already kind of know what's it, it, you know, from previous studies in the past with hydraulic um, fitness equipment, but it will benefit the cardio and pulmonary functions of the human body. Um, so what I aim to do is to prove that this does benefit the cardiopulmonary functions of the body um, while you're strengthening the entire body at a core level. Um, and once I can prove that, that the core pump machine benefits or improves cardiopulmonary function, then I need to prove that the core pump machine works in microgravity environments. So we'll figure out a way to test this um, in a microgravity environment. And once we can prove that it works, which we all know that hydraulics work in space, it's what they use up for a lot of their landing gear and other equipment, then if this works in space and the core pump benefits this, then in space your cardiopulmonary health will improve by using the core pump machine. Um, what, what makes that a huge benefit is the floor print of this thing. You can train the entire body very effectively with this machine, getting cardio, core, total body workouts in a very minimal time. Right now it's noted that astronauts work out a minimum of two hours plus in space seven days a week so now you have a little machine such as the core pump that doesn't take up a lot of space at all that now we can put this little guy 
bolt it into any spaceship and have the ability to actually do a full body workout on a daily basis with such a small system as the core pump machine. So, so it's very exciting research. Um, it's gonna, I think, it's gonna be huge. I think the second that we can prove that this benefits cardiopulmonary function in space, you're gonna start seeing all these spaceships taken off to wherever that destination is. And um, yeah, it's very exciting to be a part of this movement. So, um, so get your core pump machine and get it ready for space.